Right now, we've just finished a bit of a workout in the build-up to Doha at the end of October. How excited are you to go and represent Great Britain at the World Championships for a second time? Really excited. Um, yeah, months ago now until we're out there. It's going to be really different being out in Doha, um, but second World Champs, which is a great achievement on its own, um, but going out there for a different event, for um, 800 mainly, um, having obviously a decent chance at a medal. It's, um, Really exciting. Yeah, obviously slightly different climates here. So talk me about, talk me through some of the the uh, acclimatisation you've been doing to get yourself ready for the heat. Um, there's some little things we can do, like when you train, train with more clothes on, uh, so more layers, and uh, just get used to being hot. But I've been doing a lot of work down in London um, with a GSK HP, sorry, GSK Human Performance Lab. Um, so using an environment chamber. So we're artificially having the temperature and the humidity that was going to be out there so doing training sessions in there sitting in there just getting used to the heat getting your core temperature up and then also practicing cooling methods so once you've got your temperature up how well you're going to cool down and how quickly and depending on what you use so yeah it's been great yeah so 400 800 in Doha yeah um, are they quite close together do you get a measure of break between the two different distances or is it literally one after the other? Um, there's a bit, yeah, it's sort of 10 days competition, so we're going to have um, hopefully like one one event, uh, one end, one more the other end, so there will be a bit of a, a gap. I mean, I'm used to racing four or five races in a day, so um, it, yeah, it's, that shouldn't be a problem, I think. If anything, it's going to be the heat and the humidity that's going to be a struggle, um, but the actual distance is, it's not far, is it? Yeah. Um, and do you, you're going out there? firmly with your sights set on the medal? Absolutely, you've got to, yeah, that's the reason why, why we're out there. Um, it's going to be really tough, that's, that's you know, definitely, um, but I'm going to do everything I can to um, get as close and, and get that medal. You've had a bit of a, a shoulder injury earlier this year, but is it uh, looking good now, feeling good in the training? Yeah, feeling really good. Um, sort of six months ago, uh, it wasn't great, I haven't been able to do that many competitions this year, um, so really I've just started my season, um, but it feels so much stronger. Um, and you know, without the pain, then I can race a decent race. And you said as soon as the incredible experience of London 2012 was out of the way, it was all geared towards Rio, which is fast approaching in the next summer. Yeah, um, obviously less than a year away now. So it was as soon as, the, as soon as London finished, then the next day it was Rio, and we always knew that. But that last three years has gone so quick. Um, just sort of looking back at some of the photos and video footage from London, it seemed like a lifetime away. Uh, and soon, yeah, it's going to be Rio. We're going to have obviously World Championships next month. We've got Europeans uh, next year, and then we've also got Rio. So within a year, we've got three major competitions so it's going to be a tough year um, and it's going to come along very quickly. Yeah exciting times but how, how is your training going in general in you know, you set off for uh, Doha at the end of next week mm -hmm. so is it, all, is it all on course and all going well? Yep yeah, it's all on course training hard feeling really fit um, it's doing everything I can yeah I can't really do add any more to that now um, it will be what it will be but it's, hopefully it's going to be a good one. Yeah thanks a lot Mel good luck. Thank Cheers. you.